Hey y'all, long time no see, on YouTube at least. Um, today, bringing you French toast chicken sandwiches, which is just like a fried chicken biscuit, but with French toast instead of a biscuit. I started by pounding some boneless, skinless chicken breast to about a half inch thickness, wanted them to be even all the way across. And then I cut them into cutlets and seasoned them with about three fourths of a teaspoon of Lowry's and soaked them overnight in buttermilk. And then the next morning, I wanted to cook these for breakfast. I pulled them out about half an hour before I got started so they can come up and temp a bit. And I made the flour dredge out of self-rising flour, cornstarch, Lowry's, black pepper, paprika, and cayenne. When I bread chicken, I like to use the backs of my fingers to really press the flour down into the meat and the meat into the flour. I flip it over, do that a few times until there is no bare meat remaining. Now, I could have double dipped these, like put them back in the buttermilk and, and dredge them again in the flour, but I didn't find that necessary and they fried up really well without it. Now for the French toast, I knew there would be no syrup or anything, so I upped the amounts in my usual custard just to intensify them a bit. Um, but sugar, light brown, powdered and white, ground cinnamon, ground ginger, a little nutmeg, vanilla extract, all-purpose flour, and whole milk. I think that's it. I'm gonna whisk that all together and lumps don't matter. I fried my chicken cutlets in peanut oil. That was around 360 degrees until it was done inside and nice and golden brown. This is my new favorite pan for small batch frying. I will link it in the description box. Um, and then I made the French toast. Salted butter and a little bit of peanut oil. And it was very important not to soak the bread this time. And um, we don't want soft custardy insides of the French toast. It needs to be sturdy enough to hold a sandwich together. I used croissant toast for my own because, you know, I don't really care for French toast, but if you French this toast, I am in there. And I used brioche for the other sandwiches. I always cook French toast over medium-low heat, never really above medium. And it takes a while, about 10-15 minutes, um, sometimes longer. I like to go low and slow so that it is done inside and nice and golden brown and a little bit crisp on the outside. My husband suggested adding bacon, egg, and cheese, so I made some beef bacon, fried an egg, and added some white American for his, and voila! Let me show you the inside of it. I forgot the powdered sugar, so I do go back and add that, but this is the inside of his sandwich. And then I'll show you mine too. I will never say no to beef bacon for any occasion, so of course I added it, and it was delicious. So that's that. Thank you for spending a few minutes out of your day with me today. I hope you have a good one. Bye.